a powerful rebel commander has been killed in an airstrike in a Damascus suburb. The group, Jaish al Islam, confirmed Zahran Alush did indeed die and that they've already appointed a new leader. Syria's state run news agency aired aerial footage. Uh, apparently, what you see here is from the strike, but it's not clear whether Syrian or Russian planes carried out that strike. CNN's Robin Creel has been following this too. So, Robin, we understand this group, just to try to clarify here, um, Jaish al Islam. Uh, they were fighting ISIS, yes? Yes, in, in addition to fighting uh, the Syrian government led by Bashir al-Assad, Christy, they were also parts uh, of uh, rebel factions who were battling ISIS. More moderate uh, group was Jaish al-Islam, around 15 to 20,000 fighters, and they were considered one of the most effective rebel groups battling uh, Bashir al-Assad's uh, regime. So to help us understand who Jaish al-Islam is, because I know that they are considered a terror group by the Assad regime, Yes, and uh, thus they would also likely be considered one by uh, Russia, who is uh, interested in keeping the Assad regime in place. Uh, however, the United States is also committed to uh, reform in Syria, so it, it's difficult to see exactly who is supporting who on the ground, different actors, different players in the region. But we do know, as I said, that they are a more moderate group. Uh, they were not in favor of the sort of hardliner ideologies of uh, al-Qaeda and ISIS, so they were uh, sort of part of countering, really, ISIS growth by taking key neighborhoods and key suburbs in uh, eastern Damascus and this was really um, th this is really why people are asking if this is sort of a blow to the fight against ISIS although it would be seen as a gain in, in, uh, in, in the eyes of the Assad regime